All right, here I am. Where's my gas tank? Here we are uh, at uh, almost empty. As close as I'll get because my gas I actually my gas tank empties at one eighth. Okay, so I'm almost empty, and I'm gonna try a new product. Hi, I'm De Nichols, and today I'm gonna try a product by Gum Out that has PEA, which Engineer Explained said it is the only thing he could find scientific studies, you know, like peer-reviewed journals, where PEA was actually proven to make a difference on the cleanliness of an engine. Uh, there's plenty of other products that may or may not help clean, but this is the one that's actually said to actually work. Let's put it to the test. What I care about is gas mileage. AutoZone has it uh, buy one get half off at the moment. And last time I bought something by Gum Out, Scotty Kilmer was going nuts over it because that PEA and Gum Out pulled PEA from every product I could find. So now that it's back in there, according to the front of the package, we're going to try it out and see if it makes a difference. To me, uh, I'm not going to do Chris Fix pull the spark plugs and show it. I'm going to test it with my gas mileage. I check my gas mileage every time I fill up, the entire time I've owned my car, except for a couple mistakes where I forgot to reset the odometer. So I will have a really good idea if this makes any difference. And just so you know, while I'm running this test, I'm pausing my use of TCW3 or Marine Premium Plus semi-synthetic. There'll be just a little bit in there, but hey, that's okay. So let's let her rip. I'm just reading the back to make sure I follow the instructions. And it says fill up with 19 gallons of gas. I have about 15 gallons that I can put in, so I'm going to put like three-fourths of it in. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, now I'm going to gas up with regular at Shell like I always do because it's next to a Walmart and I'm lucky that I get Shell at great prices. Most places I've lived, Shell was very, very expensive. But not here because they wouldn't be able to sell gas being next to the Walmart. <laughs> Just like I'm doing here, nearly empty tank, put in an appropriate amount of the clean solution approximately, and then fill her up all the way. It's made it a bit wrong. So we have a tad bit more cleaner than we should for how many gallons I put in there. If you consider it a tank, and then I have about a 16 gallon tank. Um, actually, I'm still good. Yeah, because it's still treating the gas that's already in the car. The point is just to have it about empty when you fill it up. Yeah, 16 miles per gallon on 13.917 mile, uh, 13.917 gallons in 223 miles so that's pretty good right um, 16 miles per gallon I get very consistently sub 16 slightly maybe 15.9 maybe 16.1 occasionally 16 and a half if I'm lucky but essentially since I'm getting the same results every time because I have a very similar routine for driving to and from work, I have a close expectation of what should happen. I'm not going to change my driving. I'm going to forget I put this in the moment I did until the next gas up. I don't worry about it until I get there. So uh, it's uh, as close as a scientific test as it can be uh, in the case of one. Obviously, uh, more people, more cases is better. Completely full, it looks about like that every time. So I'm confident I have a full tank, so this test should be accurate. And I did reset my odometer to zero. Okay, I'm returning to my normal use of TCW3. And we're gonna about to find out if this does anything that it promised. Cleans fuel systems, prevent deposits, restores horsepower. 
We're testing if it maximizes fuel economy. A lot of the other things are difficult to test. So we will find out. All right, guys, it's time for the, re the result. Do you think regain with PEA is re going to restore my gas mileage, at least the way I'm testing it? Leave your comment below, pause the video, or find out. And if you guess, and you say you guessed right, you'll know whether you're uh, making your guess before or after uh, the declaration of the result. Or maybe you'll disagree with the result that comes up in your next comment. But, pause it. Okay, I just ran the math. And on 12 gallons and 197 miles, and then taking into account for significant digits, I got 16.4 miles per gallon using the regain. Some people would call this an increase. I would call this standard deviation because this is uh, gas mileage that I get anyways. No real change. You know, I get plus or minus half, a quarter of a mile per gallon. Uh, my truck is very steady, very predictable. So it appears to have had no gas mileage change. I'm D.E. Nichols. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Please like and subscribe. I will be sure to put up a related video up here. Super related video, like the other product that you saw me use. And another video here is what Google's going to recommend, but I suggest... You poke me in the eye right here on the screen, and that's a way to subscribe. So get out there and work on something.